Hi, this is Tim Hoy from the Steinway Piano Gallery. Welcome to our latest edition of Steinway Piano Gallery's concert performances. If you're visiting for the first time, I want to tell you what it is that we do here. First, we're one of the largest piano stores in the country. In addition to being the exclusive dealer for Steinway & Sons Piano and Steinway Design Boston and Essex Pianos, our 30,000 square foot showroom is home to several hundred new and used pianos where you can make side-by-side -side comparisons of many named brands. So whether it's a concert instrument or a piano for a beginner, we'll have one. Our technical staff services most of the performance venues in Michigan and they can tune, repair, or restore your piano. We're also home to the new Spirio piano, which can faithfully reproduce the performances of one of the 1,600 Steinway artists worldwide right in your own living room. It will forever change the way that you listen to music. And we're committed to your education. Our Arts Academy has hundreds of students of all ages coming to learn music and to create art. And in the Steinway Hall, we can comfortably seat up to 250 people for some of the greatest musical events provided by the best talent in the Midwest, as well as internationally known musicians and singers. Every concert's different, featuring different artists and a variety of styles, so make sure you tune in. For the great lovers of classical music, we host a variety of performances by Steinway artists and arts organizations like Detroit Symphony Orchestra and Michigan Opera Theater. If you'd like advance notice about our concerts, just send us your email and we'll make sure you will get an announcement. If you enjoy what we do here, we would love it if you would visit SteinwayDetroit.com and give us a review or like us on our Facebook page or go on your Facebook page and let your friends know what we do here. And if you want to experience the thrill of playing music, come in and see Cliff Monier, our resident pianist, and he can get you started. And one last thing, Consider showing your appreciation by making a donation of any amount to support these musicians and their families. As with all of our concerts here at Steinway, proceeds will go directly to the musicians performing each week. We're going to continue to live stream our concerts until we can return to our regular sized audiences. So pour yourself a glass of wine and a comfy chair and feel the music because music is what feelings sound like. Here's why we say, come play with us. It's what we do. Enjoy.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're clapping as loud as we received our just our first applause right here in the Steinway Jazz Cafe Live Week 7. I am with some great friends and some wonderful musicians, and I'd like to introduce you to a familiar face over here. I like to call him the man of many faces and, and certainly the man of many smiles. That's Sean Dobbins over there. Everyone knows who Rodney Whitaker is. He's great, he's awesome, and the most important part is he's a very pleasant person to be around. Wonderful musician. Thank you, Rodney Whitaker, for being here. May I offer you that microphone? Uh, it's so good to be here. This is really my first public performance since the quarantine, so it's been three months. I, I, play, I did a TV show from home a couple weeks ago but uh, this is the first time I've been away from home playing, so it's so good to be here with you. Th in fact, I should also go on the record and say this is one of my favorite trios to play with. So we usually play about once a year. We try to do more, but we're all so busy. But it's so good to be here to play with these guys. That was one of my favorite tunes, Alone Together. I used to actually play that a lot with the great Kenny Cox, who actually taught me that tune about 30-some years ago when I was... Yeah, I'm only 27, so I don't know how that math works out. Can we, we're gonna play, is, it a, is this Triste a Jobim tune? So we're gonna play a beautiful tune. I love this tune, it's called Triste, and we got a couple little twists on it. A twist, I should say, if I can remember it. So, continue with more music. Hope you all are having fun out there.
nice to be here playing with such great musicians, the great Sean Dobbins. And I've actually known, I met Sean when he was uh, maybe like 15, 16. He, and you knew, I knew then that he was going to be a great p player. He was smiling a lot then, even back then. <laughs> and he had a high top a afro then. Yeah, back in the, in the 90s, right? Yeah, I remember that. And Cliff, I've known of him, and I think we sat in and maybe played together like a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Long before you had that white hair on your face. <laughs> yeah. So good to be here. We're going to continue with some Ellington. And um, this one is arguably, it may have been, well, I won't say that today. This is a, uh, a Ellington composition. This is called In a Sentimental Mood. Thank you. 
I'm I'm hoping that that beautiful touch that Cliff has is getting captured out there on in cyberspace somewhere. It's amazing to sit here on stage and hear him play with that beautiful touch and that subtlety. And what about that masterful mallet solo? And uh, I stopped believing in mallets a long time ago, but Sean has given me confidence in mallets once again. <laughs> the, o the only other cat I know that played great mallet solos is Greg Hutchison. Uh -oh. He insists on it. We used to fight over it. I said, man, don't pick up the mallets. <laughs> But it's, it's beautiful, man, beautiful, yeah. We're going to continue on with another Ellington tune. This one is called It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing. And I hope that you all are enjoying our selections because it's all we know.
key says it all. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. I don't think I've ever played it at that tempo. That's a nice tempo, Sean. Sean grew up since I last saw him. <laughs> it's grown folks' tempo. Yeah. It's been a minute. I mean, I, I think Sean and I hadn't talked on the phone for a long time. And one night during the pandemic, we talked for like three hours or so. Four, four hours. Wow. Yeah, it was a uh, good talk. Uh, uh, it's, I'm, I can't wait to see you all. I don't know who's out there, but I can't wait to see you all soon in a club or a concert when that time comes. Whew, I know we're all ready for it. I know I am. I am. It's good to be back a little bit. Let's play um, a Billy Strayhorn composition. This is called Take the A Train.
Billy Strayhorn actually wrote that tune when he was 18 years old. He wrote that tune. He wrote a tune called Lush Life at 16 years old. So if he didn't write another tune, he would have been good, but he went on to write. <laughs> yeah, he could have retired. He went on to write many, 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 many more tunes for the Great Duke Ellington Orchestra. And that was a beautiful one called Take the A Train. And um, he wrote the tune based on the instructions that Duke gave him to get to, from Pittsburgh to Uptown New York to Harlem. And uh, great tune. And he actually, actually, the truth is, he threw the chart away. He wrote the chart on the train. He got to New York, spent the night in a hotel, and had to be at rehearsal at 10 in the morning and thought the chart was corny. So he threw it in the garbage can. And as the story goes, he Duke got to rehearsal and Duke said, where's my chart? He said, well, I didn't think it was any good. He said, well, go back and get it. And he just happened to arrive at the hotel when the maid was discarding the garbage. And so he was able to get the chart. And the rest is history. Yeah. But, it, but you know, that tune actually didn't become Ellington's theme song until 1940 because it was a tune called, I'm kind of a little bit of an Ellington expert, a little bit. And, uh, but that tune, the tune that was their hit, their uh, theme song was called Sepia Panorama. And then they recorded um, Take the A-Train. They didn't re actually record it until 1940, and then it became a hit, and that became their theme song. So let's play, um, this is not, well, let, we're gonna play an arrangement of a tune. Let's, well, it's in the same key, let's switch directions. Um, so what do we want to play next? We kind of, let's do Just Squeeze Me.
guys are really talented. Did I ever tell you all that? So good to be here. I wish you all could be right here in, in this space with us. And uh, it is, uh, it is. I think more than money or anything, most musicians are really, I think we love to be in front of an audience and interact with an audience. And it is a spiritual experience. It's not really, you know, we, none of us really make that kind of money where of course, money is good. I'm not going to pretend. 
but it's not. Mm. It's also about affirmation and playing in front of people. And sometimes when we're at home by ourselves performing, it's cool. It gets us through, but it's not the same. We miss y'all so, so much, and I hope y'all can feel that and feel the love that we're playing with here today. We love playing with each other. How much time we got? <laughs> Three more hours. Another song. Let's do, um, let's see, what should we do? We did A Train. Why don't we do Cottontail? Or you want to do Broadway? What would you like to do? Let's do Broadway.
Jazz Trio, my favorite format. Wow, it's been awesome having you fine gentlemen. Awesome, awesome people. Awesome, awesome players. Sean Dobbins on drums. <laughs> the great Rodney Whitaker on bass. <laughs> my name is Cliff Monier. Thank you for joining us. It's always, always great to be here. And as Rodney said, we cannot wait for you to be filling these spaces right here, as you might be able to see on the camera. It's a carpeted floor, which I've never really seen before. It was full <laughs> of chairs uh, earlier on. So soon, we'll be able to begin to have uh, small audiences, and it is our plan to be able to grow that in a way that's um, you know, in compliance and in, in with respect to all that is going on. And so once again, thank you, gentlemen. You guys are my heroes. We'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>